Hi, this is Pastor Bill Crenn at Dearborn Congregational Church. Maybe you saw the headline this week. Kate Spade, fashion designer, found dead in apparent suicide. Now, I'm not that familiar with ladies' accessories, but I did recognize this name. Thanks in part to some of the shopping trips I've been on with my wife. And so I read the article. Here's some of it. Kate Spade, who created an iconic, accessible handbag line that bridged Main Street and high-end fashion, hanged herself in an apparent suicide Tuesday at her Manhattan apartment. Police responded at 10.10 a.m. after Spade was found by her housekeeper. A suicide note was found at the scene. Spade addressed her daughter in the note. Her husband also is referenced, according to one of the sources. Best known for its colorful handbags, Kate Spade New York has more than 140 retail shops and outlet stores across the United States and more than 175 stores internationally. The brand is synonymous with cheerful luxury. <laughs> this is sad news. A beautiful, young, smart, successful woman at the very top of fashion and design and now it appears that in her own life, there are areas that were not cheerful, that were not so luxurious. This is sad because in the darkest hour, we have a God who will help us and deliver us from the very worst this world and the devil can throw at us. I know this to be a fact because of an Old Testament book of the Bible the book of Job. On Sunday, we'll take a look at this man and his amazing story. It's a lesson that will help us when we are facing our dark unknown. I hope you can make Dearborn Congregational a part of your Sunday morning. Worship starts at 10 a.m. I promise we'll sing familiar hymns of the church. We'll take your prayer requests. We pray together and we will explore God's word. Like to know more about us? Visit our website at dccdearborn.org or you can email me at dccucc at gmail.com. We're located at 16350 Rotunda Drive between the Southfield Freeway and Greenfield Road. We're in beautiful Dearborn, Michigan. So until Sunday, I hope you are enjoying some of the blessings God has promised.